had to be you. It had to be you. I wandered around and finally found somebody who... No, 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 we talked about this. I get to have coffee before we mumbo. <laughs> I forgot. Go ahead. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Could make me be blue. Could make me be true. Ron, I think we need to paint the ceiling. <laughs> Happy anniversary, baby. Two months today. Life is sweet, huh? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or make you be glad mm -hmm. just to be sad thinking of you. Ba -da -ba -da -bum. Some of us uh, I've seen. Dancing. Not horrible enough they're married. Look at them. <laughs> She brightens up a room, doesn't she? Mm. Mom, how long you been up? How long have I been up? I've been up for two months. <laughs> uh, oh. oh, Mom. <laughs> yeah, well, you think I'm kidding. Ever since you married this man and ruined my life, I have not had a wink of sleep. And yet you're still so perky. <laughs> well, never mind. I'm going to be dead soon, and I'll catch up on my sleep then. Mom, stop saying you'll be dead soon. Ron, talk to her, will you? Just talk to her. When you say soon... Ron! Yo, what's up, Dad? Ellen? Oh, oh your grandma. Check this out. <laughs> All right, yesterday, I was shooting some hoop over in the projects, right? And this dude come up to me and say, my man, man, let's do it for some change. You understand? So I say, Holmes, let's go. So we mix it, right? And wham, bam! Man walks home with his jive, and I walk home with his five. <laughs> <laughs> Can you dig that? That's very nice. <laughs> what the hell did he just say? <laughs> Carrie, enough, okay? What? What? What did I do? Mom, I am sorry. I have really tried, but your marriage is just not working out. I know, honey, but we're staying together for Grandma. <laughs> What's going on, son? Nothing. All I did was make one little comment about that ridiculous pro-Earth organization she belongs to. So, Powell, is not a ridiculous organization. No, of course not. I don't know what made me think that. But, uh, just for the heck of it, why don't you tell him what So Powell stands for? Okay. Stands for Save Our Planet or We're Leaving. <laughs> Look, I didn't think up the name, okay? And anyway, at least I'm trying to help mankind. What do you do with your time that's so worthwhile? Inflict bodily injury on other human beings? Hey, don't knock football. My enormous skill and talent in that sport are going to get me a scholarship to college. <laughs> After which, I'll become CEO of a major corporation, enjoy tremendous wealth and power, own several of expensive cars, finally have my own room. Yo, T, don't make me hurt you, man. Honey, Put your brother honey, down, Terry. Oh, man. All right, all right, all right. I can't take it anymore. This place is a lunatic asylum. I've got an announcement to make. I've decided to kill myself. <laughs> I thought you already decided that, Grandma. Oh, yeah? When? Last year, when I asked Mom about birth control pills. Didn't you say you were going to kill yourself? Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, I said I was going to put my head in the oven, but that was just for a few minutes. <laughs> this time, I'm going to leave it in there. Oh, sorry, Mrs. B. We've only got an electric oven. No gas. I can't get a break around here. Ah, uh, don't feel too bad, Grandma. You could always jump off the roof. Lester, don't be stupid. The roof's only 20 feet up. She'd only break an ankle or something. Now that she dove head first. <laughs> hey, Lester, how is she gonna get on the roof in the first place? <laughs> if she's gonna kill herself, hanging makes the most sense. <laughs> hanging? Now, that's really stupid, man. Where is she gonna get a horse? <laughs> You're such thoughtful boys. Mom, it's our two-month anniversary. Could you keep the suicide talk to a minimum? This is a minimum. Come on, everybody. This is supposed to be a family anniversary. We're not acting too much like a family. Yeah, and that's weird, because we look so much like a family. 
Okay, I got an idea. Tonight, the six of us will sit down and celebrate over a fine turkey dinner. I can hardly oh, wait. Well, I'd love to be there, Dad. You see? There. Okay, Mom, how about you? Well, I was planning to be dead by the night, but what the heck, I can kill myself tomorrow. Now, that's the spirit. Thank you. Well, looks like you got yourself a cavity here, Mr. Lukens. I'm going to have to drill a little bit. Do whatever you need to do, Doc. And I don't care if it hurts. I don't mind pain. In fact, I prefer it. Now, let's not have this argument every time. Mr. Lukens, I'm going to use some Novocaine. Okay, just don't give me any. We'll split it. Say, Mr. Lukens. You still running that turkey ranch out in West Friendship? Oh, yeah. I got the finest birds in the state, Doc. Well, then let me make you a little proposition. Mr. Lukens, hmm? have you ever engaged in the act of barter? Oh, no, nah, I'm a good family man, Doc. <laughs> oh, no, 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 Mr. Lukens. No, you see, what I'm suggesting is, instead of paying me money for filling your tooth, you pay me with a turkey instead. That's a relief. <laughs> Today is my two-month wedding anniversary. And I was thinking that one of your fine turkeys would be just the thing to make the evening special. Wouldn't you rather spend it with your wife? <laughs> I plan to. Oh, good. She'll appreciate that. You still want a turkey? Yes. Hi, Mom. I'm worried sick about you. Where have you been? I was teaching kindergarten, same as yesterday, and the day before that, and every weekday since 1978. <laughs> well, don't joke. One of those crayons could pop up and put your eye out. <laughs> Look, if you don't like my Corvette, then don't ask me for a ride home anymore. It has nothing to do with liking it or disliking it. I was just trying to explain to you that subconsciously you chose that kind of car for its phallic symbolism. I did not choose it subconsciously for its phallic symbolism. I chose it consciously for its phallic symbolism. Hi, folks. Ooh, mm, get your appetites ready. We're gonna eat good tonight. Hey, where's the turkey, Sarah? What are you talking about? Didn't Mr. Lukens come by this afternoon with a turkey? No. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. I've been sitting here all day. If a person had come in with a turkey, I would have noticed. Hey, yo, look what I found in the backyard. <laughs> now, there's a person with a turkey. You see, I noticed. <laughs> hey, he likes me, Dad. Can I keep him? Uh, Ron, I'm no expert, but that turkey's still alive, isn't it? I thought Mr. Lukens was going to kill it and clean it for us. Oh, well, looks like he only cleaned it. <laughs> now, wait a second. Somebody brought him here. This here is the same turkey that's supposed to be our dinner? No, Lester. He's one of the many stray turkeys that wander the streets of Baltimore. <laughs> Mr. Lukens just misunderstood what I wanted. N no big problem. We can just take it on down to the butcher on 18th Street. Oh. Come on, give me a hand hey, with hey, you, Hey, hey, whoa! Back off! This is my man, Ray. You named it Ray? Well, yeah. When I put the sunglasses on him, it looked like Ray Chops. Well, I think it's time for Ray to play a gig down on 18th Street. Terry, this turkey is a living thing. It has a spirit. A soul. Yeah, a... he's got soul. Lester, please, I'm going somewhere with this. <laughs> Terry, we're not barbarians. If we kill this turkey, we'll all be guilty of, of, of turkicide. Turkicide, oh well, you've changed my mind. Help me, will you? Well, uh, Ron, I'm not sure I can. Do you really want to start off our happy celebration by executing a little farm animal? Yes. <laughs> but he's so cute. He'll be cuter with gravy on him. <laughs> well, it's three to two. What about you, Grandma? Okay, I say turn on the oven. If it was gas, Ray, I'd join you. Y'all wanna snuff my mate bro here? That's a zip down on the flip side, man. You watch what you say to me. What did he say to me? He said it's a zip down on the flip side, and he's right, whatever it may mean. 
I can't believe this family can't agree on anything. Well, it's three to three, Ron. We're deadlocked. Okay, okay, okay. I've got it. Whoever that is, we'll break the tie. That's ridiculous, No, no, Terry. no, no. This is the perfect solution. I don't know who it is. None of us know who it is. Just bear with me. No. This, this will work. This is the deciding vote. Uh, Freeman residence? I got a package for you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, come in for a minute, will you? Uh, no, I really got it. Uh, just, just come in for a minute. Have a seat. <laughs> Uh, what's going on? Okay. The three of us are having a disagreement with the three of them. It's up to you to cast the deciding vote. Should we kill the turkey? Well, wait a minute. I get it now. You're one of those uh, cults, aren't you? Uh, I really gotta go. Uh, look, maybe if you have some uh, some literature I could take with me, or or I'll come back for it. I swear. Okay, look, let's just forget about killing this turkey. What do you say we all go out to a restaurant instead? No, I I have have to to oh, I see. I, I get it. See, this isn't about turkey. No one really wants to have this anniversary dinner in the first place. Is that it? That's it, Dad. <laughs> well, it's not really our anniversary anyway, Ron. Fine. It's fine. I'm sorry I troubled you all with my annoying little plans. It's okay, Dad. Don't worry about it. <laughs> wow, this is great. No dinner. The turkey lives and I starve to death. <laughs> Traditionally, two-month anniversaries never work out. Now, the three-month anniversary, that's the one that'll really bring us together as one big, happy... <laughs> the four-month anniversary, that's the one that'll really take off as a... <laughs> okay, jeez, I don't know. I'm just trying to help her. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have tried to force this on everyone. But you know how I am. I want everyone to get along together. You can understand that, can't you? <laughs> well, don't give me that look, Ray. You could be sitting in giblets right now. Are you still talking to the turkey? <laughs> yes, and you made me lose my train of thought. Honey, it's been almost, uh, four hours. I'll be up in a minute. Oh, come on. You can't be depressed the rest of your life over one stupid turkey dinner. No offense, Ray. Because not the turkey I'm depressed about. It's what the turkey symbolizes. Thanksgiving? I'm serious. Look, we got some real problems around here. You saw what happened tonight. No one wanted to celebrate except for you and me. Well, what do you expect, Ron? I mean, look what we have here. We have people from two different families, three generations, two races, not to mention a woman who hasn't smiled since the Dodgers left Brooklyn. <laughs> and one day, we just said to these people, surprise, you're a family. <laughs> you talk about celebrating. We're lucky the house is still standing. Well, thanks. I feel better now. <laughs> well, that's the way it is, Ron. I mean... Obviously, Ray's been sugarcoating it for you. No, that's pretty much what he said. He just got to the point a lot quicker. I love you, baby. Mm. I love you, too. Uh, hi, Mr. Lukens. Hi, Doc. Thanks for coming by. Uh, this is my wife, Ellen. Oh, pleased to meet you, ma'am. Hey, what was the problem, Doc? You didn't like the bird? Oh, no, no, that's not it at all. We just couldn't decide whether or not to kill it. Oh, you gotta kill him, Doc. All the recipe books agree on that. <laughs> uh, yo, uh, heard the truck pull up. I thought I'd say goodbye to Ray. This is my son, Lester. Oh, Lester. <laughs> uh, he got your eyes, ma'am. <laughs> Lester, we're going to go on up to bed. You see Mr. Lukens out in the lockup, would you? Sure, Dad. Good night, Mr. Lukens. Good night, ma'am. So, uh, what's going to happen now? I mean, 
What are you gonna do? Well, go home, I guess. Maybe watch a little TV. <laughs> Maybe I'll put a movie on the video. See, did you ever see Marathon Man? Oh, I love that movie. <laughs> I mean, what are you gonna do with the turkey? Oh, well, I'll put him with that bat that's going over to the slaughterhouse tomorrow. Whoa, 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 the slaughterhouse. Is he gonna die there? Uh, no, son, he's the night watchman. <laughs> Of course he's gonna die. Yo, Ray. You ain't tough, my man. Okay? I love you, bro. Young fella, did you ever think about getting a dog? <laughs> stairs with a baseball bat with a lucky break. <laughs> Relax, Miss Gun Control. It's not a real gun. It's one of those replicas they sell in the Sharper Image catalog. A little louder, Terry. The burglar might have missed some of that. <laughs> okay, Big Shot. What do we do now? You stay here. I'm gonna go stand by the kitchen door. Take this bat with you. <laughs> Thanks. I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> I got the gun. Oh, give me that. Go out front, see what's doing. Don't slouch when you walk. Ron, what is going on down here? Uh, go over huh? there, go over there. Oh. Oh, Mom, you have so much to live for. Just put the gun down and we'll talk. It's a toy gun. What do you think I'm going to do, beat myself over the head with it? Ladies, this is not ideal robbery behavior. Robbery? Hey, I'll do it out front. The police said they'd have a car here any minute. Okay, okay let's all stay calm and stay together till the police come. Hey, 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 hey. hey, yo, be cool. Just checking on Ray. Ray? Uh. Turkey? My dishes. Oh. Lester, why is the turkey still in the kitchen? Oh, uh, see, I asked Mr. Lucas if I could stay here one more night. I figured you wouldn't mind. Oh, what's up? Y'all been playing baseball? <laughs> <laughs> He's your son. Talk to him. Oh, sure. Only because he has my eyes. <laughs> Who is it? Police. Um, hi. Hello. You reported a burglary here? Oh, yes, see, but this is kind of hard to explain. Freeze! Drop the gun, mister! <laughs> Your brother? Your brother? Yes. Yeah. Hold it! It's okay, officer. Who are you? I'm Ron Freeman. Now, this is my house, and this is my son. And who's she? She's my daughter. This is my wife. And I'm his mother-in-law. What about them? Cousins from out of town? Officer, 
Officer, don't look so confused. There's nothing unusual going on here. We were just a family and a turkey. Why don't you go get some donuts? <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, Officer. Everything's fine here. Everything's normal. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> a family, huh? It's the middle of the night. I didn't know what I was saying. <laughs> Well, well, well. Not bad. I'm proud of the way y'all handle yourselves. You can put your hands down now, son. Right, right. Okay, why don't we all go back upstairs and go to bed now? And Lester, take Ray back into the kitchen. Nice scream, Terry. Very macho. I know, I know. That, that's why I did it. I could do it any time I want. <laughs> See? Well, you really throw a nice party. <laughs> See? Nothing to be upset about. Huh? I wasn't upset. I was just humoring Ray. Oh. It had to <laughs> be you. <laughs> Ray was a nice touch. So what do you have planned for our three-month anniversary? <laughs> I have another patient. He runs a cattle ranch. <laughs> Next Sunday, you can catch an all-new True Colors at its regular time, 7, 6 Central. Coming up next, the barbecue's in full swing, and the Bundys are in rare form. So are the burgers. Stay tuned for Married with Children, followed by a sneak peek of Parker Lewis. Who is this guy? Good night. Good night. <laughs>